All right, well, these guys are getting smacked around. You got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. You got no head. Your head's gone. Gore blocks for days. All right, there we go. Oh, my God, this is, this is incredible. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train Let's Play Hype Train! Yeah, you're damn right I wrote that down. <laughs> How smooth was that, right? Anyway, last video we did Horde Prep. This video, 21 Day Horde. All right, I am freaking jacked. I just had some I just had some monster. Um, I'm freaking ready to go. I'm ready to rock. We're going to do this. I, I have been working a little bit on the base just because I've been a little bit bored. I'm just kind of putting down some flooring here on the second layer of the base and uh let's come on down here and see what it looks like uh look around here a little bit yeah yeah some people didn't like the fact that the um that the ceiling was this low um i didn't like i didn't love it either but i kind of think of this area i'm in right now as kind of like an attic type thing um this is not meant to be here a lot this is for maintenance only um so kind of think of it as like an attic okay you come up here you mess with your lights you know you throw some darts in the um the good old dart traps and you're, you're ready to rock you know so, um, yeah, that's the way I look at it. So, I actually, with that being said, I really don't mind um, the ceiling as low as it is right now. Okay? Oh, oh by the way, um, I went ahead and got my machete and my crossbow that are green. I made 13 exploding crossbow bolts. Thank you very much for reminding me last episode. That was really helpful. Um, I, some people were saying, oh, I wonder if Keith's going to remember the explosive crossbow bolts. Well, I did because I saw your, uh, I saw your comment. So, that was awesome. Someone wanted me to take these frames out of here, right? Just like that. And I think that's really cool, but the problem is it doesn't work because there's going to be glass right here and it doesn't work unless I can put the glass. Ooh, 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 even better iron bars. Can I put iron bars on an angle? I don't, I'm pretty sure I can't um, put iron bars on that kind of an angle. I don't think I have any iron bars. Did I use all my iron bars or did I just miss them? Oh, you know what? I think I put them in here. Here we go. So let's take a look at this. Let's see if we can put these iron bars on that kind of an angle. We're going to go see. Oh, actually, you know what? That wouldn't be bad just like that. Really. Um, although, you know, it'd be kind of like. I kind of wanted them in the middle, maybe. Not really sure. On this end, wouldn't be too bad. That, that would that might, that might not be too bad right there. But let's see if we can put these on the angle I want, like um, like a sloped angle. I'm pretty sure I can't, but you never know. Okay, no, 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 you can't do it. Pretty sure you can't. Nope, that's, we're back at the beginning. Yeah, you can't put on that kind of an angle. I think you can with glass, but I kind of wanted to use iron bars. I really don't want to use glass, but, um, eh, let's see. Let's just, you know, we'll lose a couple of wood for it. You know, we'll take a look at it. Oh, by the way, um, Experimental has a new update. They've come out with Experimental, like, 6.2, but I'm not, I'm not about to start over my world. Um, so when that comes into, uh, when that comes into stable proper, we will take advantage of it. Uh, they, they've done a lot of different things to it. They've, um, what did they do? They, oh yeah, these go on an angle to the side. But they don't seem to go on an angle up and down. Anyway, uh, what were some of the things they did? They lowered the recipes on some of the um, on some of the things that take wood, wood building block recipes. And um, oh, what else did they do? I'm sorry, I, I kind of gazed at the notes, but then once I saw it was a, an experimental branch, I kind of like you know. Um, if you want to see the if you want to see the update notes, go ahead to the forums, go to the Seven Days to Die forums, look in the news section, like the uh, announcement section, and they'll tell you everything you need to know about it. Yeah, this isn't this isn't gonna work. Oh well. I will, uh, I'll debate what I want to do there, because I, I might actually want to put the iron bars set on the inside, um, so I can, you know, so I can kind of put them right there and leave this out, or I'll put it back. What, my original idea was to have the, the rebar right here, and then put the, uh, iron bars right on this rebar. That was the original idea. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I felt bad about not having those patch notes, so through the magic of editing, I have gone ahead and got them. Um, it seems like most of the stuff they were talking about was, uh, random world gen, um, memory stuff like uh performance stuff uh they talk a lot about memory uh issues because this game has a massive memory leak um and then there's some other things animal gore blocks are not being cleaned up on servers they fix that maltov's uh client players when um uh, hit client players when yeah they, they did a bunch of fixes maltov's are hitting players or something um maltov's now do less damage to players um they, oh this is the big one they've increased drop chance of quests and treasure maps god thank you that was so freaking needed it's not even funny oh my god huge improvement there huge improvement there um they increased the low end damage of the iron axe 
Lower resource cost for basic wood building blocks. All right, well, I'm not on the experimental, so I can't check. Um, animals do not drop gore blocks. Increases shotgun damage, mostly at lower quality guns. Again, if you guys want to check out the full patch notes, go to 7days.com uh, backslash forums, and then go to their uh, news announcement thread. It's a 16.2 experimental update is what you're looking for. We should probably put a hatch here, shouldn't we? Oh, well. Too late now. We got hordes coming. All right. So I think, I think between day 21 and day 28, my next thing is going to be, obviously, uh, continue working on the base. But uh, what I also want uh, work, what I also want besides working on the base is I want to start really getting some guns. I really want to make a concerted effort to start getting many, many guns. So that is going to be our next, uh, you know, thing we're going to do. We're going to look for safes, gun safes. We're going to visit the trader constantly. Um, going to try and make some money off jars. You know, we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, uh, just for you guys, I will put up the FPS, okay, so they're coming from this side, which is a side I don't have my, uh, things on, but that is okay. I'm gonna come on up here, we're gonna come down here, oh, come on, come on, there we go, and look at them, they have no legs already. Alright, so my frames are good, but I am getting some kind of weird lag, but, um, that is okay. Alright, sounds like the door is doing okay. Oh my god, this is, uh... Oh, man. Okay, so that was some serious... Alright, well, these guys are getting smacked around. You got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. You got no head. Your head's gone. Gore blocks for days. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, this is this is incredible. This is incredible. Break your legs! I'll just let them break their legs, and I'll just uh, hit the guys on the ground. Yeah, we should probably loot some bodies as best we can. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Alright, well, the, the, the thing seems to be uh, doing okay. You know, the, part of the problem with this setup is I might not be able to repair my blocks. You see how big Bertha on the bottom is kind of in the way? Um, I might not be able to repair the blocks during Horde Night. So that, oh god, look at all these dogs. Alright. You know what? Suck it, mutts. There we go. Alright, we got something right here. It looks like uh, it looks like these guys are possibly not being hit properly. So that's a problem with this uh, setup. We have to kill the guys at the door. Because I don't think the darts are hit. You see, the darts not hitting this guy. Alright, this is what I need the shotgun for. Come on. There he goes. I think the door screwed that guy... I think that door screwed that guy that was at the door. All right, so we need to do this or they're going to go for my door. So we need to... The cool thing is they won't go for the door because I'm the bait. See? See, they won't go for the door because I'm sitting here. Man, oh, except for those guys. All right, that door is going crazy. You know, uh, you know it's lagging me. I think the electricity at the door is doing it. I'm gonna loot some of these, get these freaking corpses out of here. Oh my god! Look at him pushing the corpses to me. That's hilarious. All right, I think that the zombies are not getting hit because of the gore blocks, so we have to kind of chip in here. All right, we're not doing too good. It's kind of hard to to aim properly with this lag. Yeah, I'm going through a lot of darts, guys. Man, I don't even know what I'm shooting. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, I never checked my game stage. Game stage. 212. Right, get the corpse out of here. Hey, we gotta lead them up. Now, don't forget, guys, because of the Max Alive thing, as soon as these guys get killed, they're just getting pretty much instantly replaced. Alright. She's a problem. And she's dead. Okay. Oh, they broke out my spikes now. That's a problem. Okay. 
There we go. A nail gun would be pretty nice right about now. All right, so this is a problem with the upside down spikes, guys. See, they're down there. It's an issue. There he goes. Come on, damn it, die. There you go. Leveled up. Oh, I'm level 60. I must have leveled up earlier, too. Nice. I think I've exhausted the horde. I actually, just melee this guy. Yeah, we're going through way more darts than I'd like to. The dart trap thing is not perfect. But it allows me to have a door, so... Come on, over here, buddy. Oh, crap. They, they broke out my... Uh, somebody broke out the electricity thing. But the horde's done, so it's okay. I think I have another one lying around here somewhere. All right, let's go ahead and drop this stuff in here. So we could do some looting. Then we're going to put this down, like there. No, we're not, because there's freaking corpses in the way. Uh, we're going to need a wiring tool. I should probably keep a wiring tool downstairs. Yeah, the front door thing. It's pretty neat, but I don't know. It doesn't... Mm. It's okay. It's okay. I probably won't do it again, though. <laughs> Just because, like, it's a lot of work, and it goes through a lot of darts. I don't even want to know how many darts I went through. Um, oh, maybe I should put this down first. So I wonder how that got broken out exactly. Did the zombies break that out? Can they actually reach it? That doesn't seem right, right? I'm wondering if I actually broke it out by mistake. I wouldn't think the zombies could reach this. But who knows? Maybe they can. You guys let me know in the video if you saw the zombies break it out. If you saw me break it out. Um, whatever. Just let me know. Um, there's nothing I can put in there to protect it. Because this is taking up this block and this is taking up this block. So there's nothing I can put in the way to protect it. Alright. Let's see if we can repair this. And this thing barely took any damage. I'm thinking these, um... Th God, they didn't even attack these things. Well, barely. Need some forged iron. Yeah, I think the I think the iron bars are going to be the weak point down there, to be honest. So, uh, let's grab some... Really, I don't have any, huh? I don't have any forged iron. I'm thinking I put it somewhere, and I don't know where it is. got to start keeping track of my stuff. Um, I don't see any in there. All right, well, I'll run one forge. We don't have any torches going. Well, we got a couple torches, but not many torches. So I'm going to run one of these forges. And uh, what we'll do is we will uh, get some forged iron. Man, I hope I don't have some lying around where I don't know where it is. All right, so we're going to load you up. Oh, man. So I don't know. Maybe I should turn down my max alive because it seems like I, like, get hit really hard, which is fun. But then we got nothing to do for the rest of the night. I mean, it's like... It's like, we must have exhausted that hoarder at midnight, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to have to think about how I want to handle that. Well, at least I can do some looting. Okay, loot. Also, once the uh, once the spikes get broken out, it's not as fun. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of things I could have done differently. I could have, I could have, uh, see, the thing is, this is not going to be the main base. Well, this is the main base for me to live. This is not going to be the main part where I'm going to fight the hordes. I mean... It might be, but... Oh, there we go. Got a treasure chest. Treasure map. We might as well go ahead and uh, read that now. Maybe we'll go for that tomorrow. That might be a good idea. Actually, I think that is a good idea. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know, guys. Um, I don't think this is going to be like the main part of the base, really, that I'm going to do during Horde Night. Uh, I'm going to have like towers on four, all four corners, and I'm probably going to want to spend most of my time over there. Uh, There's going to be a very spread out base, so I don't think this is really going to be an issue once everything's built. But, man, it's going to take a while to build everything. And um, this is going to be the only part where I have these uh, these open areas. Um, yeah. mm. See, okay, here's the problem, guys. Here's the problem. If you don't use pillars or, or poles or any kind of defense... What's going on over there? I think they're stuck behind that fence or something. Anyway, if you don't use poles or pillars or a defense that allows you to fight on the same level as the zombies... The, the Horde Knights get boring because when you... I've mentioned this many, many times, but you guys got to understand um, a lot of people don't watch all my videos, so I'm going to mention it again because this is important. When you're standing above the zombies, they do not attack your walls. 
Now, they do kind of attack your walls, but they don't go as hard after your walls as they would if you were on the other side of them, if that makes any sense. Um, I find when I stand above the zombies, it's like, um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem as hard, and they don't seem to attack the walls as much. Now, I don't want to make all my bases the same. Like, I don't want my, I don't want the towers surrounding this thing to be poles. So what am I, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to make them solid walls. Um, so the towers, the towers surrounding this thing, I'll probably fight from above them. Now, the zombies will still attack your walls. They just won't do as much, you know, to them. Um, you know what, you know what else I could do in this, uh, in this opening right here, this, uh, door? I could put shotgun turrets, like, outside, maybe, like, one right there and one right there, pointing towards the door. So that way, if any zombies come at this door, they just get lit up. That, that's actually a really good idea. I think I might do that. They also, in the, um, in the experimental update, they've raised the, uh, damage of the shotgun and... I th actually, they said all the gun turrets, so... That's pretty, pretty crazy. Oh, you guys finally made it? Oh, look at you. Oh, where's your legs? Oh, down you go. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me some clothes. Yes. Their clothes sell for a lot. There's their clothes sell for a lot. I love it. Oh, boy. So, day 21. Pretty interesting. Um, it's weird, though. I'm getting good frame rate. But the game still feels laggy during the Horde night. I don't know, I don't know what that's all about. Um, hopefully that will be um, helped. I don't expect it to be completely fixed in the next update, in the experimental. But hopefully it will be helped. There you go. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. Actually, I'm going to come back for that. That's an important thing to get. Alright, let's throw this stuff in here. Probably just break down most of those clothes. The denim stuff doesn't seem to really sell for that much. And we will get that. That's important. I'm finding um, they took a lot of the medical supplies out of the drop, the uh, the the airdrops. So I'm finding that it's uh, more important for me to get uh, to you know get the anything that can make you know moldy bread, anything that can make the uh, antibiotics. Okay, so you might be wondering, um, why did I only use a couple cross? Why did I only use a couple explosive bolts? Well, I have heard that there is a terror, a night terror, um, called by the name of irradiated cops. They heal over time, they explode, they're nasty. You got to kill them, and they're really hard to kill. Um, and from what I understand, explosive bolts are really good against radiated cops. So I just wanted to show you explosive bolts to show you the, the devastating power they can bring to a Horde Knight, but I didn't really want to use too many of them. Um, they do damage your own... They do explosive bolts, any kind of explosives, rocket launchers, explosive bolts, pipe bombs. They'll all damage your own building. But the, the, the amount of zombies they take out um, more than makes up for it, in my opinion. I've used them in the past. I've used them all, and I think they're all great. All right, you know what? Let's do some... Uh, Let's do some point spending here. How about that? Okay, so what do we need? We need the chem station. And that is uh, toolsmithing. Wait. Science. Science 7. Okay, science 7. There you go. And we can now make the chem station, people. There you go. And what, do, what do we need for the chem station? There we go. Um, oh, we need burning barrel. Okay, we got to go grab those from one of the... Uh, Oh god, that's cheap. <laughs> that's fucking sorry, that's that's freaking dirt cheap, man. Wow. We just gotta go grab a burning barrel. We'll do that tomorrow for sure. When we hit one of the uh when we hit one of the traders. Tomorrow we're gonna grab uh we're gonna go ahead and do some um some treasure hunting and then we're gonna hit so hit up some traders, see if we can get gun parts. I'm I'm hoping to have a lot of money for the traders. As a matter of fact, uh, let me get up here really quick. And let's turn this one off. And let's turn this one on. And we're going to put a lot more sand in there. I really want to go nuts. So I have not put up the video. I have not put up my last video. Um, actually, my last video is going up in a couple hours. So I don't know what you, what you guys have to say about the difference between jars and bottled water. Now, again, I haven't read what you guys have to say. But if I had to guess what you guys were saying, bottled water probably will sell three stacks before the uh, trader doesn't want to doesn't want to buy anymore. But jars of water will sell in three stacks before the trader doesn't want to buy anymore, making glass jars better. Well, am I right? I don't know. We'll f I'll find out when I read the comments. I think I am, though. I just I thought about that today at work when I was uh, when I was thinking about this game as I do often. 
All right, so let's do this. And we're just going to go hard after jars, man. I want to make a lot of money. There was a lot of... Some people were pointing out there was really good hunting rifle parts at the trader. A lot of stuff I couldn't afford. Or maybe I could afford, but it would have broke my bank, and I didn't want to do that. Put this up there. All right, so what do we got going on down here? We got some more stragglers. Hello, stragglers? Are you alive? No, you're dead. I don't know how you died there, but... Oh, what are you doing? All right, I'm not wasting bolts on you, lady. I'm just gonna cut your freaking head off. How about that? Hey, you like me now, lady? Okay. All right. Um, you know what? I need to go. I need to replace those spikes like right now, because it's annoying how the zombies keep jumping in there. Um, where did I put my spikes? I don't see them there. So let's come on up here. Oh, you know what? They'd be in this box. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, seriously with this. Cut your freaking legs off. I'll cut your shins, pal. <laughs> there we go. So I think what I'll do is when I when I upgrade my spikes to um to steel. I'll probably upgrade these to steal first. Because see, these seems to be the one to get hit a lot. Alright, so he's going to be a problem down there. Because now I can't freaking put more spikes down. But that is okay. I am okay with that. Okay. Alright, we'll just leave him there for now. Um, I don't think I can get that other corpse anyway. Oh, I can. Nice. Alright, then when he corpses up, I can grab him. No, no, over here, over here. Over here, dude. Cut your freaking legs out. There you go. And now I'm going to cut your head off. You know what? They don't seem to be attacking the poles either. The AI really needs some work in this game. And by the way, guys, a lot of people have been asking me what are the fun things working on Alpha 17. Um, Alpha 17, from what I've been understanding, is going to be an AI update. And it really needs it. Because, like, these guys don't even seem to be attacking my poles much. Come on, lady. Attack my pole. It's right here. Attack my pole, lady. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Look, she's not going to attack it. Watch. I could sit here all day. Yep. That's a problem. That's a problem. Now, at least when they're standing, they attack. <laughs> the thing is, they're not standing very long. I'm just trying to get an honest, you know, um, challenge. You know? Uh, without turning them into bullet sponges by upping the difficulty. I mean, I am a warrior. And my, um, if you guys ever want to see my rules or my settings or anything, um, you guys can look down in the description. My blood count, my blood moon count is, um, 32, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 32. All right, guys, daytime. Another successful horde night. And we've already, re we've already done all the repairs. We're already almost fully repaired. Let's take a look at how many, uh, how many darts we went through. That's what I'm, I'm curious about the most. The lights are pretty good, although I think I need better lights in the middle of the base, so deal with that. Oh, yeah, this one's almost done. Actually, uh, that's not too bad for one Horde Knight. There was a lot of darts in there, though. There's a lot of darts. D darts aren't too expensive. I mean, I don't know. I, honestly, I'm probably going to set up some shotgun turrets facing the door and then just call it a day and um, maybe even remove the, uh, the dart traps. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. What do I got? Another minute and 15 seconds? All right, let's get out of here. Loot these ass clowns. How many bones did we end up with? I don't know. I think I put some away. But um, I've come up with a pretty decent amount of bones here. That's for damn sure. Yep, I have to loot that or the corpse won't go away. There we go. Maybe we should spend some more points. Alright guys, I'm going to look at my points and then we are going to call this a video. I want to see what else I want to do with my points. Okay, so. Do I want to do anything more with weapon and tool smithing. Honestly, I'd like to go up two more points of each. It would cost me 33 and probably 33, right? So that's another 66 points, and then I would never go any farther. The reason I want to go up two more is because I want to get the blue tools. Honestly, like, I would either stop at six or eight. Um, but that's because the tool... The, the, the reason I would stop at six or eight is because the quality of the tools has a little color down there. 
And going from six to seven does not change the color. Going from six to eight does change the color. What does that mean? It doesn't mean a damn thing. It means I'm crazy. It means I, I would I would either upgrade two more times or not at all just because of the color. Um, a, a 450, a 350 axe is better than a 300 axe. But if it doesn't change the color of the, of the quality, it, it doesn't seem worth it to me. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know why I am the way I am. Um, we're going to hold off for that for now. Let's look at some other stuff. Uh, we can go another sexual T-Rex. Probably. Probably. Um, knife guy would be a good choice. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Bad mechanic would be a good choice. Um, we need to get gunsmithing so we can make ammo. Actually, that's it. That's what we're going to do right now. Gunsmithing too. That's, that's what we need. Um, I'll hold off on the other ones, although I'm pretty sure I'm going to make magnum ammo at some point. Uh, what else? Uh, melee traps. Um, yeah, for the blade traps. Yeah, absolutely. Range traps with a shotgun turret. Yes. I'm sure I'll do that right now. I can't do anything else. Do it yourself is a pretty good one. Mechanical parts. That's good. Uh, you can make mechanical parts, insulator, electrical parts, and electrical components eventually. All right, guys, doing a little bit of post-commentary here. Um, I'm going to go over what I did with my skill points next episode. Basically, what happened here was as I was going through the skill points, uh, my wife called, so I muted my... I automatically mute my microphone whenever whenever someone calls because it's a streaming thing. Um, you know, So I muted my microphone, and then I, I paused the video. I talked to my wife for a couple minutes. I came back, and then I did the rest of the video, but I didn't realize my mic was still muted. Um, so I, I picked a few... Uh, a, a couple skills here, a couple perks and um, i'm gonna let you know which ones i picked at the beginning of next video okay plus i gotta do my outro thank you very much for watching guys that's gonna be it for this episode i will see you next time and until then take it easy